No sign of the children, Thomas. No, I hadn't seen them. Georg, those mountains, they're magnificent. Yes, they're not like any other mountains. They're friendly. Look, that green stretch of woods over there, when the wind moves through it, it's like a restless sea. Oh, and that sweet little village. That's not a village, that's a town. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt its feelings. <laughs> it's fun being with you. You're quite an experience for me. You're quite an experience for me, too. Somewhere in you, there's a fascinating man. Occasionally, I catch a glimpse of him. And when I do, he's excited. Excited? I've never been called exciting before. I may need to understand you better now that I see you here. You know, you're a bit like those mountains. Except that you keep moving. How can you be away from this place as much as you are? Maybe I've been searching for a reason to come back here to stay. Yeah, I like it here very much. Max can't still be on the telephone. I know he's desperate about getting singers to the call for a festival, but... You like it here? Oh, we have to spend some time in Vienna, too. I have hired a state to look after. I thought that was a corporation now. It is, and I'm president. You? President of a corporation? After all, I managed to have affairs for years before he died. I can't see you sitting behind your desk. Well, of course I wear a business suit and smoke a big cigar. Heard your brother to let call now. While he's telephoning, he just finished. Any luck? How would you like this for the cost for a festival? The finest gold in all of Austria, the greatest in sort of all of Europe, and the best of Prano in the world. Max, that's something I'd love to hear. So would I. <laughs> all I've got to now is a basso who is even profundo. Max, you always come up with a good festival concert. And why? Because my motto is never start out looking for the person you want to get it. That's why I'm Telephone, Paris, Rome, Stockholm, London. All on Gail's telephone? How else could I afford it? Why am I out here? <laughs> I go through it because you like me. I do like you. You look like a king. You have an excellent wine cellar. Yes. I love people. I like the way they live. I like the way I live when I'm with them. Speaking as a government official, I. Gail, is there a telephone? Is there a cathedral around here? That's our Abby, no longer Abby. Do they have a choir? A beautiful one. Good. In the next few weeks, I'll have to tour all the towns around here, listening to Zegelin's choirs, quartets. You'll be here for meals, won't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> no, it's in the town outside of Watson, where I discovered St. Ignatius Boys' Choir. In 1930, they won the festival, became very famous, and toured all over the world. Oh, yes. Where are we going with them? Well, once their voices changed, they were rich enough to live in America. Gail, who lives in that dilapidated castle down there? Uncle Stilton? Baron Elberfeld, the oldest family in the valley. I'd like to meet him. I'd like to meet all your friends. Gail, why don't you throw a dinner for me while I'm here? Nothing very much, just something lavish. I wouldn't know whom to invite. Today it's difficult to tell who's a friend and who's an enemy. This isn't a good time to make enemies. Let's make some friends. I can't understand what's happening to the children. You're not worried about them, are you? They should have been here to welcome you. Well, it couldn't have been an intentional slight because they haven't met me yet. Forgive me. I'll try to find you. Elsa, have you made up Gabriel's mind yet? Is he going to marry Oh, yes. He hasn't committed it yet. There seems to be something standing in his way. You don't know what it is? No. I do. What? 